What's up guys, welcome back to One A Day Uploads on the Weston Smith channel. I have a big announcement for you guys. We are doing right now a huge fishing giveaway over on our Instagram page. Check the post right here, man. This is the one. We're giving you guys a rod and reel, not just any, but a rod of your choice and a Shimano reel. The thing is over the top. I'm even gonna throw in some Guggen baits for the winner. It's going down in like the next week and a half, man. So you get entered. Easy entry requirements, you guys got to check it out. And I want to thank you guys on all the success the page is having. And with that, I wanna to talk to you guys today about how you can start getting free products within the fishing space or whatever it is you want to do. Also, how you can start getting paid and how you can start collaborating with larger pages and channels, man. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get into it. How's composition? Where can I stand? How close can I get? Can I get over here? How about over? Here. Yeah, that's become my standard process for me. I like to make sure I know when I'm in frame and out of frame and how the mic is doing as far as audio goes. So here, let's get to the pointers. Okay, I'm gonna just tell you guys my story and how we achieve the results that I get so many questions about, specifically on Instagram, which is how do I get free stuff? How do I get these companies to send me rods or reels or baits, this, that, and the other? Anything under the sun, right? Devin and I are to this point now where through our consistency and hard work, we're actually getting like tens of thousands of dollars worth of free products sent to us. We're actually making a decent income from this whole YouTube and Instagram thing. But in today's video, I really want to highlight the fact that you yourself can start making a few posts and start getting some products sent to your door for free, saving you a little bit of coin, and then also start making a little bit of cheddar on the side with these companies as well. With that being said, let's take you back to November 18th, 2018. Notifications. At that point, I had 1,089 followers. It was late 2018, I pretty much was at ground zero, right? I was not posting any fishing content, maybe a couple pictures I had posted at that point, but I watched a video by Gary Vee on how to promote your business with social media, and that changed my whole mindset on what I needed to be doing on Instagram, and specifically, it was post more than anybody else. In 2019, I believe I posted more than any other fishing account on Instagram. Three times a day, every single day, did not skip a beat. Maybe sometimes it was one a day, sometimes it was five a day just to try and catch up. So about a thousand posts made in 2019 on Instagram. That right there has gotten us so much results. You're in a world now where there's fishing posts every second, hundreds of them. How are you gonna compete if you post once a day, once every other day? The fact of the matter is, if you wanna get to a point where Instagram can pay you just as well as your job or better, you have to actually put in the work just like you would at your job. So for me, I'm spending more time and, and energy and even money investing into the channel and page so that we can grow this thing and really turn our passion into a career. The first thing is simply posting more. That in itself is gonna help you start growing your page. Now what's gonna happen with that growth and that influence and your followers and your engagement, you reply to your comments, what's gonna happen is brands are looking for folks like you to help market their products. And a lot of companies' budgets are shifting over to influencer marketing from all that other classic stuff like putting your uh, sign on a billboard, maybe going and getting your message out through Google AdWords. It's now more cost effective for many of these businesses, big and small, to get their product or service out there through influencer marketing, AKA you guys. So start building these pages they're gonna take notice and I remember I started getting recognized with as few as two three four five thousand followers okay a lot of these companies know you have a unique following that you can engage with and when you recommend a product or service your fans want to know all about it take a look maybe try the stuff you're using on a day-to-day -day basis and that is gonna lead to a great partnership for you and the company I think one of our first pro staff or promotional staff opportunities was with Wu Tungsten, uh, Guggen Baits, Mystery Tackle Box. I think we had maybe three to 5,000 followers when Mystery Tackle Box had reached out after I had used their products and tagging them as key. You wanna tag these people you wanna work with. Maybe purchase a rod from the company you wanna start using. Purchase these baits and, uh, and actively tag those companies and they're gonna see your post. If you're putting in the work, they're going to recognize and they're gonna hook you up at some point in time. I can all but guarantee it. Simply by building your channel, your page. Now with Mystery Tackle Box, the first opportunity was to get a box for free every single month and a discount code for the followers. That had worked out so well that eventually they had me start making videos for the channel. There's been sponsored videos where they will pay for videos for my channel, etc. A lot of opportunity has come about just because I started using Mystery Tackle Box, tagged them, and they took notice. 
Okay, now let's talk about YouTube for a brief second. Once you start getting a certain amount of views and subscriber count, I believe there's only those two prerequisites, I may be wrong, you can start actually monetizing your videos. What that means is companies will pay to put ads on your videos and you capture a percentage of that, it's paid out through Google, and as your views go up, so does the income and opportunity within YouTube. More brands will end up reaching out to you over time, wanting their products to be represented in your videos, and I only recommend taking these opportunities from companies that you actually use and like their products. I don't recommend you just take every little deal that comes across the table. Your fans won't appreciate it. You're gonna sound like you're just selling crap to them all the time. For me, you guys know, I preach the same few things. I preach Mystery Tackle Box, Guggen, Carl's Bait and Tackle, Catchco, Bonafide Kayaks, and a few other one-off sponsored deals that we've received over time. So with YouTube, all I've gotta say is stay consistent Work on those thumbnails, work on those titles, just get started. The hardest part is getting started. Don't, don't overthink it and don't judge your videos when you first start posting because trust me, they're not gonna be good. And if they are, fantastic, good for you. I don't strive for perfection when you're talking about making your first 100 videos. I want you to just make your first 100 crappy videos. You're gonna get better as they go. So why do I say crappy? You're probably gonna think your editing is lackluster. I did. You're probably gonna think your content is lackluster. I did. But don't let that discourage you. You have to start to actually get better with this stuff. I'm still learning every single day when it comes to filming and when it comes to editing, when it comes to telling a better story, when it comes to vlogging. I'm just, I'm, I'm, you see it right now. I'm tripping up my words. One of the great things you can do is also cross promote. So for me, I always talk about my channel on my Instagram page and on my YouTube channel, I will bring up Instagram like I did in this video. I, I also, I oftentimes do swipe up story posts where I will say swipe up to check out my newest video. You can do that once you have over 10,000 followers and we hit 10,000 followers and I believe it was five months. I mean like, a quick pace for somebody posting original fishing content. And when I said I had posted more than anybody in 2019, I don't mean like meme pages or fan pages, I mean like people posting their photos that they took, original content, all the way. So with that, let's get back into some more Instagram tips. Now one thing that's very powerful within Instagram towards growing your page is giveaways. We have one running right now. It has been insane off the wall. We're probably gonna hit a new 10,000 followers in record pace. And by record pace, I mean probably within less than a week. It's been two days now since we started the giveaway and we were at 62.4 and we just crossed 68. We're probably at 68.4 by the time this video goes up. So we're 6,000 followers up in a matter of two days and the results should not stop because I'm gonna boost that post, meaning I'm going to start paying some money to help push it out into specifically a fishing audience so we can maximize the results from that giveaway. Now when it comes to boosting posts, I also harp on the fact that you should promote your posts on Instagram. Switch to a business or creator account and you should promote your posts. Now the problem with that is some people promote a post that they think is good. I might see 10 of my posts on Instagram and I might say, I like this one. I'm gonna put money behind it because I think it will do well. Well, the fact is you can see which posts do well. If you have a business page or creator account, you can go up to insights and you can see which posts have performed the best and up to a two year range. So your last two years of posts, you can see which post has gained you the most followers, which post has gotten you the most likes, which post has reached the most accounts, Etc. So for me, on this new giveaway that I did, I specifically made the giveaway picture a photo that I posted two months ago that exceeded any other post I've ever made as far as organic reach, and that is what is giving us such amazing results. All I'm getting at is you wanna put the money into the proper post. It's better to put $20 behind one photo that has performed great based on your insights, and what I like to do is check back in the last year and see which post has gained me the most followers. And I remember at first it was like, zero or one or two. I remember when I first started promoting posts, I really didn't get many followers from promoting those posts. But what I did get is reach that you're not gonna get when you're a small page. If you have between zero and 10,000 followers, your organic reach is probably pretty poor with how the algorithm is these days within Instagram. So you almost have, you almost have to pay to play meaning you gotta invest into yourself. This is gonna become your business potentially. You're gonna start making money. Brands are gonna send you stuff for free. I have made and seen more in returns from free products and income brought in than I have ever spent on the Instagram page as far as boosting posts. At this point, I've spent probably three to $4,000 boosting Instagram posts over the last year and a half. That has been my investment, my marketing, me getting my brand out there. And yet I've received almost $30,000 in free fishing products, probably more that I'm just like not thinking of. And you guys can do this too. That's all I'm getting at. I'm not bragging. There's many people who have done much more than I've done. That's Max. But I'm just trying to show you guys what's possible in a short amount of time. If you really hunker down and start making some posts, post some pictures, guys. Post pictures. That's it. Because we built our Instagram, 
so fast is when other pages started taking notice. Really, the Instagram growth is what has led to our channel growth. I think the first time I ever met up with one of the Googans, I had between four and 8,000 subscribers. So I'm saying that presence on Instagram and the effort I was putting into it is what got me the opportunity to meet with these guys and collab with larger accounts, larger channels. You guys see I'm all over the place. It's just how it goes. Boosting posts. Okay, you wanna check your insights. You wanna make sure you're promoting the best post. Now, how much do you put towards it? Who do you select as the audience? Because when I first started making mine, I spent a lot of money almost wasting it, but not. You're getting more reach that you're not gonna get when you're a small page, like I had said. What you need to do is spend five bucks. 10 bucks, put $20 towards a post. I wouldn't go crazy with like 100. I, I almost never did $100 or more uh, unless you've got the budget. If you got the budget, you could just, you should spend, you should spend a lot of money on promoting posts. That's how you're gonna grow your page faster than all the guys that are just making the posts and not promoting. Here's what happens. Let's say you make 100 posts in a year. You post one every third day or whatever. Let's say you make 100 posts in a month, like I do. I pretty much make 100 posts per month. Let's say, one of those photos takes off and reaches 50K people, 100K people, or even, depending on your numbers, it reaches 500 or 1,000 people, and that is like way higher, astronomically higher than any of your other posts, that's the one you put money behind. That's the one you spend big on. The thing is, when you've got momentum on a post, you run with it. So if you've got a photo that's taking off as far as likes or reach or follows, I like to go off of follows because you can get all the likes you want. That's not gonna increase how many people follow your account. You can get all the reach you want, and, and that's great, but you want people to actually be incentivized to follow your account. And if there's something about a certain photo that your fans are liking enough to say, I'm gonna follow this person, those are the ones I like to put the money behind. I would put 10 or 20 bucks behind it over a weekend. That is best when more people are at home and on their phones, think holidays, or just always have one promoted, $5 throughout the week, $10 throughout the week, and do like, you know, one every week. I just know you're gonna reach more people and build your page faster if you're willing to put some money and invest into yourself like we have. Now I know this video only caters to a certain percentage of my audience, maybe even a small percentage, but I really think it provides tremendous value for you guys. And look, there's enough room for opportunity here for all of us. I don't care what companies you're with or wanna focus on, I'm not hating on none of it. I want you guys to go out there, have some success, and build a little bit of an income, maybe collab with those larger influencers that you wish you could meet, you can. You can do it, man. And also make some money on the side, and it can actually turn into a full-time income around something you love to do, man. So if this has been a video you guys enjoyed, please let me know down in the comments because I like filming these and I have a few more things in mind that I could do here shortly to help you guys grow your influence and start making some money, getting some free stuff and having a ton of fun with it, man. We'll see you tomorrow.